can I check my mic? And my mic sounds nice. Come on in, my friends. Come on back, troops and talk to Teddy Burr. What's going on? What's going on, family? Family, family. Wow. There we go. And there we go. Y'all see that sweat? I'm sweating. Yeah. Yeah. Get that workout in. Yes, indeed. Still got a little sweat. Ain't stop sweating. There you go. I did it. What's up, family? Y'all ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, ready. Ooh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now, we're going to do the roll call. Yes, we are. If I can get it to come up right. What's going on, good family? Good people out there from everywhere. Mo Retta. First one in the chat tonight. Mo Retta, Mo Better. What's up, Ashley Renee? Is that my girl, Karen? What's up, Karen? Mary Atkinson. How you doing, Mary? Yes, yes, yes. Come on in and hit the like when you come in. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Facts 100 came through to do what she do. Tanya, wish you would. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. David Alexander. How you feel, Dave? What's going on, champ? Yes. Honey B. Lee. What's up, Holly? Miss CFP came through to do what she do. What she do. Woo. What's up, honey B. Lee? Country girl with grit. What's up, Edith? I see you in there. Is that you, Edith? I see you in there. Yes. 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 Janet Cross in the building. What's up, Janet? Andrea Davis. Elaine B. I see you, Dave. Blinders off in the house. What's up, Lady T? Lady T. Yes, indeed. Stingray. Granny of five. What's up, Elaine? LLC came through. What's up, Sheila? Josie Ferry. Cali Finn fan in the house. What's up, Cali Finn fan? Queen Liss. What's up, Sheena? Uh oh, I got everybody. Woo! What's up, Kitty? I think that's how you say it. Kitty, Kitty, Kitty. Something like that. You have to put the syllables up for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm going to destroy that name. What's up, Lizzie? I see you, Kim G. Queenless. Value, Val. Value, Val. What's up, everybody? Ketty? Is that Ketty? Is he the Kitty or Ketty? Something. Ketty. We're going with Ketty, like Betty. Okay. What's up, Andrea? <laughs> Donna Hale came on through. She's going to do what she do. There you go. Ketty. Gotcha. Gotcha. That you, MJ? How you feeling? How you feeling? Come on in. Come on in, my friends. Woo. Woo. Y'all see that sweat pouring. Good gracious. Still hot from the workout. There you go. Tell them, Miss CFP. Tell them, get them up. Get them up. Get the Dukes up. Get your Dukes up. Yeah, come on in the chat. Hit the button. Hit the button. What's up, Phil? That's my main man, Phil, in the house. What up, Phil, Brad? <sighs> yes, yes, yes. The energy, the energy. Yes, indeed, the energy. It is incredible, y'all. It is incredible. It is. It does. 
My goodness, man. Ain't God good? Yes. Every time. Every time. Whoo. Good grief. Can I shout out the sponsorship in here this evening? Can we take a time out? Just a quick, brief moment. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Because what we're going to do is acknowledge the love. That's what we're going to do. Every time. Makes me feel good. Yes, indeed. Can I shout out? Yes, can I shout out one of my favorites? One of my favorite people in here. Connie Bones. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Connie, you incredible good people. My main man, David Alexander. Hey, Dave, man, you know. Yes, my man, my man. Lisa Brown came to get down, A.K.L. L. Yes, indeed. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Is that you, Queenless? Queenless. And I know I'm saying you last, but you definitely not the least, Miss Holly Glimp. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. I shout the sponsorship out. They keep me going. They keep us going. You know, they send the love right back. Just like we send that love back, man. You know, that's what we do. That's what we're here to do. Guys, tonight, I need y'all to open up. Yes, I need you to open up tonight. What's up, Audrey? I need y'all to open up tonight. And tonight, I want you guys to help expose narcissism. Now, as you can see, I got it started. I got it started with two. Okay. But it's so many more. And we're going to talk about it. Social media and cell phones are the narcissist's favorite tools to get new supply. What they doing? What are they doing with that cell phone? Let's talk about it. Hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about the hidden apps. Let's talk about the what are they? What are those things called? Those secret um. They got apps that you can hide on your phone. Okay. They have apps that you can hide on your phone so no one can see it. They're hidden behind other apps. Guys, this narcissist, good God, man. Oh, man. Anything that they are exposed to, anything. That's right, Miss Coco B. Cheating. Yes, that's what they're going to do with it. What's up, Alicia? That's what that listen, that's exactly what they're gonna do with it. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Good gracious. Oh, yes, indeed. Can I shout out Miss Taisha? Thank you for joining the sponsorship, Taisha. Yes, indeed. Appreciate the love. Yes, I do. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, guys. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> so, you know, what's up, Bella? There are so, so many. Mm, mm, mm. There's so many different apps out here, man. I, I'm willing to bet they have apps just for cheaters out here. I'm because they have apps for everything else. Apps to help cheaters cheat. <laughs> Good gracious, man. I should have looked it up. I should have looked it up. Whew, let me look it up. Let me just look it up to see if it's an app for cheaters. Good gracious. They, it, they have to have one. If I know somebody out here. I know I'm not the first one with that idea. Good gracious. 
Cheaters. Cheater Buster, How to Catch a Cheat, Cheater Tracker, Catch a Cheater, Find Proof. <laughs> no apps to help cheaters? <laughs> Let me see. Let me put Help Me Cheat on there. Me Cheat. Wow. Hey, guys, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, <laughs> you owe me for that idea. I just gave y'all an original idea. Okay. <laughs> now, only thing is, you're going to have to get the cooperation of a narcissist to build the app to figure out, you know, how to, what lies to tell. <laughs> what lies to tell on. You know, when 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 they get caught, what to do. But they're experts. They already know what to do. They don't even have an app because a, nar a true narcissist knows what to do. <laughs> Good gracious. In this hell that we live in. Yes, this hell that we live in. Guys. There is no app for narcs to help narcs cheat because narcs are already experts at cheating they are already <laughs> they are already experts at it they don't need an app they don't need help they don't need assistance they know what to do <laughs> yes yes there are secret apps wow Granny of five said some of those apps look like calculators. Wow. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. So you go on, you going through, you know, the narc's phone and you're trying to figure out, you know, where they have the information stashed. You're looking through it and you, you're ready to give up and think that, wow, I know you cheating because I feel it. I feel that vibration. I feel it. But I cannot catch you. That I know it got to be in that phone. And the narc is in there, hey, babe, look through my phone. Here you go. Go ahead. You're not going to look at a calculator like it has information, pictures, text messages. We wouldn't do that. Wow, guys, this this a whole that's a whole nother level, man. That's an entirely different level. Wow. Okay, okay. I like that one, Audrey. Audrey said that her ex told her, her ex would tell her that she downloaded it on his phone. Who could gracious man? You downloaded it on my phone. I, I did that wasn't on my phone. You put that on my phone. <laughs> Guys, I don't, you know what? I just don't doubt that from coming from a narcissist. That that, that would I don't doubt that they would do that. I don't doubt it for one second. They will try to convince you that you, you were the one that did it. You sent, you put those messages on my phone. I didn't put those messages on. You put those messages on my phone. That's right. Tell them, hit that like button, y'all. Everybody coming in late, hit the like button. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. Hit the like button. It's well appreciated. Yes, it is. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's easy to do. Bing, bing. <laughs> Sick Thumb. Mwah. Thanks for that super chat. Sick Thumb just getting us started. Sick Thumb said, if you see an app that looks like a picture of a files, it hides text messages. Guys, I told y'all we're going to get y'all up to date. You're going to know all the game, the games that they play, the tricks that they pull. Because half of your battle of trying to catch this fool is you wanting it to fall in your lap. 
Well, guys, a narcissist is much better than that. It's, they're not going to just let it fall in your lap. No, 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 no. You're going to fight for that information. Y'all better take a picture of that one. Apps that looks that look like files. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, it hides text messages. So they can pull up a file and put all the text messages in certain files. Mm, mm, mm. Man, these people are dirty, man. <laughs> Thanks again, Sick Dom. Mm-hmm. Sick Dom said, want to find something? Click every single app, y'all. Every single app. Click every single app on their phone. When you get the phone, go through the phone. It's in there. It's in there. They just got so many ways to hide it. Now, I was aware of one app. Now, I don't know what it was called. Goodness grace, it was like it looked like a vault. That's it looked like a vault. But this is the thing, it's hidden behind another app. I'm sitting there like, how does one do such? But when you're a bona fide cheater, they know how to do stuff like that. They do it every day. That's their common practice. That's that's their common practice. That's what they do. What's up, China? How you feeling? China said the day he told me the dating app was in his search history on YouTube and it popped up and he accidentally clicked on it. It popped up. Let me let me try one. Hey, China, we here. Let's try. Let me see if I can try it. Let me see. Okay, so let me see. What's a dating app? He said he went on YouTube. Okay, let me go on YouTube. Pull up a dating app. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me pull up dating apps. So, okay, so that tells you right there because you have to put it in your search engine. You have to put it in there. It was in his search history. Come on now. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Dating apps. All right. So, and this is just for the purpose of us saying that we looked at it. We have seen it. We've walked through it. We've made sense out of it. And this is strictly for you guys that just want to know. Sick Dom says she saw it firsthand, guys. She saw the information firsthand. Okay. If it looks like a file, they can hide text messages in there. Okay. So on, when you go on YouTube, it doesn't bring up dating apps. When you're looking up, okay, dating apps. I just did a search, dating apps 2024. And it just has videos that talk about dating apps. It doesn't have an actual dating app on it. Okay. Man, oh man. But that just shows you. See, and that, and guys, see, in the future, when you catch the narc line, when you catch them in a lie, that's how you break them down. Okay, babe, let's let's open up your phone and do it real quick. Since that's how you saying you did it, let's go into it and watch them. Tell you, get out of my face. You starting stuff. See, you tripping. Is this, is that. I wasn't even using the app. I wasn't even thinking about that. It might have been on my phone. I ain't thinking about that. Go in the phone, open up the app, and look at how recent they were, you know, they were, they visited the app. Because the app tells you. It gives you information. I think they do. I, You know, I, I know that I was on one before, so, you know. I know it would tell me if I, when I when I looked in it. So there it is. Ah, boy, oh boy. What's up, Ursula? <laughs> Woo! Ursula said their side piece will tell you. Mm, mm, mm. That's right, Miss Coco B said, trust. If your energy leads your intuition, 
you will find God reveals. Okay. <laughs> he showed me and I was shocked. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't shocked. Beautiful butterfly said, oh, yes, especially. They're good at hiding those numbers under their families and friends names. Hmm. Different names. Yeah. They'll hide them under different names. They'll hide it under a restaurant. They'll hide it under Home Depot. They'll hide it under painter. You know, seamstress. They'll hide it under this is my barber or this is my beautician. This is the nail tech. They Listen, y'all. There are so many ways that cheaters cheat. So many. And again, you know, this is just for the people who still want to entertain things that are outside of your inner voice. Your inner voice is telling you what it is. It's telling you what it is, and it's telling you every time. Okay, <laughs> Lady T said, "I miss those old ro old days, the rotary phones." <laughs> Be like, brr, brr, brr. <laughs> All right, remember that. All right, we used to have one. Yes, indeed, we used to have one. Yes, I did. I many a nights called on that phone. Yes, yes, yes. Back then, before they had two-way calling and all that stuff, man, all the sneaky stuff narcs do. Man, you couldn't do all that stuff. You couldn't run all that game. But, you know, as you can see, you know, technology has helped narcs out. Technology has helped narcs out. Yeah, that's when life was really simple, y'all. Technology, did it really help us? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess in some ways it did. You know. Wow. So music said, oh, yeah, I tried to get that phone once. <laughs> he was holding on to it for dear life. To the point the neighbors called the cops. Wow. He took it that far just to lie. And yes, they will. Because... You got to understand the lie that the narcissist lives under, the lie that they live under. They need your total, complete participation and belief in that lie in order for them to continue to manipulate you. Once you figure that, that they figure out that they are lying and they are liars they lose their power. They start to lose their power. They absolutely, they start to lose their power over you. Guys, If when you figure them out, that's it. Once you see the lie and you can prove it's a lie, that narc knows you're out of it. Look, this is, this is done. We're done. That's all I've been waiting on. Guys, I'm going to tell you. A narcissist knows that you want out, okay? They know you want out. They know that that aggravated, agitated feeling that you have, that you have not caught them yet. That's the only thing that keeps you there for the punishment because you're not there because it's pleasurable. You're there because you have not caught them yet, okay? It hasn't been presented to you. And sad to say, some of us are in such a bad place that we've caught them a few times. Caught them and still trying to figure it out. Listen, don't think because you catch the narcissist that they're going to admit what they did. You called a phone number. Oh, well, we didn't do anything. We didn't do nothing. There ain't nothing but a phone number. Okay, we talked on the phone. You act like you caught us in the bed or something. Guys, they're, just because you catch them with evidence, they're not going to admit to you what they're doing with that person. 
Okay, yeah, I didn't come home the other night, but I wasn't with that person. I told you I needed to clear my head. That's it. <laughs> Prosperity said, narcs are not mentally or emotionally mature enough to handle cell phones and the internet responsibly. Okay, and they are not. <laughs> give them two tens. Give them two tin cans and a string. And they still going to do you dirty. Give them two tin cans, a string. You give them a glass and put it up to the to the to the wall so they can listen and talk to the next person. Guys, no matter what. No matter what a narc. OK. And, and, and we were just talking about that. The old school phones, the rotary phones. When they came down, listen, <clears throat> back in the day, what they what the cheaters did, and I saw this on um, the Jackson 5 movie. This is what Joe Jackson used to do. When the phone rings and they hang up, it ring one time, then they hang up. So now he knows the next call is going to be his girlfriend. That was on the movie, The Jacksons. Yeah. And then he picks up the phone. He picks up the phone right after that. His his wife at the time, she went in the other room, picked up the other phone, listened to the whole conversation. Guys, this is how they live. This is what they do. This is what they do, man. And that's what we're sharing tonight. Ways they cheat. Sick thumb. Mm. Thank you so much. Incredible person you are. <clears throat> <laughs> Sigdon said vault stocks, vaulty stocks look like a stock market app. Wow. Wow. So guys, you see a vault on their phone. It looks like they're looking at the stock market. And and they and they're in that, and this is it, listen, their whole lineup is in there. Their whole lineup is in that app. The whole lineup is in the app. They're in that app looking at everything. Every They have everything listed. They're who they're with. You know, the person, the, the conversations, and it's tucked away comfortably right inside that app. You know, I, all I'm saying is, guys, all I'm saying is that a narcissist to think that they're going to be true to somebody. And, and this is another thing I want y'all to, you know, cause it is, of course you got to double down on it. You know, do you think that somebody was that wicked and that sinister just with you? Do you really believe that they were just that way with you? We have this tendency to think that you catch this person with apps. You've seen conversations. You've seen them in people's inbox on social media. You know, wow. Sick Thom said they got nudes in there, videos in there, messages. Who said I couldn't eat or sleep for days after I saw it. There you go. That's why I tell you. You don't want to see what's in that phone, man. You don't want to see it. Guys, you don't want to see what's in that phone. Sometimes we swear we need to see it. I promise you, you don't need to see it. Because once you see it, you cannot unsee it. And that's just what it is. Once you see what's in that phone, man, you, you cannot unsee it. You saw it now. There it is. And now you have a decision that you got to make. See, the, re the reason that I say you don't want to see what's in that phone, because immediately a, a decision has to be made. Somebody has to leave. Somebody, this relationship has to end now. In order for me to have respect, dignity, you know, my self-worth, now it's somebody has to go. Wow. Tina said, what is the app that uses maps so you can see a quick hookup in your vicinity? 
What? Wow, man. That <laughs> it's a whole nother level out here. Guys, and I'm saying the average person, the average the guys, the guys, the average person has no clue about this stuff. The average person. There are so many ways to cheat. You so there's so wow. Wow. Wow, guys. So Tina, you're saying there are there's an app out here, probably more than one, where you can just you just turn it on on maps or turn it on. Oh, she said it uses maps so you can see a quick so anybody in your vicinity this on the same app, y'all can just hook up. Good great. <laughs> Talking about access. My goodness. Guys, guys, that you can you can see that the, so those are the type of apps right there. So I was looking for the wrong thing. <laughs> I was looking <laughs> like there's going to be an app just for narcs to te- teach you how to cheat. No, they have the apps to show you how to, you can just hey look, all you got to do is hit the button, you turn the app on, and bam. Look, oh man, this person just for oh wait, look at this one. I'm gonna call this one right here. And through the app, y'all just link up. Wow. Wow, man. That is. So, so having, so, so knowing this, right? Knowing this now, guys, don't you feel like, well, let me say for me, for me to know that I feel Something isn't right. Something isn't right. Because, guys, I'm going to tell you, every last one of us was made aware when the narc was cheating. Every last one of us. Now, whether we paid attention to it or not, that's on us. But we were made aware because you have a sixth sense that tells you you a vibration that you're on that's telling you something isn't right something in my gut is churning and it does not feel good something ain't right and it does not feel good you you cannot say that you love someone and they're out cheating on you and you feel nothing. I never knew. I never felt anything. I never saw anything out of place. And because don't get it twisted, guys. A narcissist is very careful. Okay. They're very careful about the way they cheat. You know, when they can cheat. Now, this is where ladies, y'all, y'all really have the advantage on this part because men don't have access to cheating on the level that women have no no we don't you know a man so a man is much easier to catch cheating much easier because you know we have to do things you know it's rare i'm not going to say it doesn't happen now because it does you do have some situations where a man has access to a woman and he can say, hey, meet me in the closet real quick. Meet me in the coat closet or meet me in the garage in the car. And, you know, we're going to drive into the dark part or whatever or meet me in the bathroom, whatever. You know, however they're doing it. It, it. I'm not saying that men don't have that. You know, we some of us have that kind of access. It's rare, though. Women do have that access. So it's a lot more difficult for a guy to catch her it's a lot more difficult because a woman can say hey look and on and uh, about 12 o'clock i'm going to lunch meet me in the garage and hey it's on you know what i'm saying or hey meet me at the meet me in the coat closet you know what i'm saying a woman gives that kind of freedom a man doesn't necessarily have that kind of freedom to do you know just to be that detailed so you know Y'all have the advantage. It's a lot more difficult for us, I think. I think that it is. I think it's a lot more difficult for us to cheat and get away with it. Yes, indeed. Hold up.
Wow. Bella said my ex would take pictures of me while I was asleep. Wow. Gina said mine too. Bunch of people saying they is dead. <laughs> I guess that's a thing, huh? Man, that is crazy. Okay. Wow. Ari Noel plus five. All mine. Said my ex had multiple women. And I didn't find out until we ended the relationship. And we were together seven years. Goodness gracious. He had several. And you didn't know about none of them. Did you love him? Because I it's no way. And I'm not saying that you caught him. I'm saying that you are getting a signal. Okay. Your intuition is like, hey, Ari, what you doing? Ari, come on now. Something ain't right. We getting that hit. We getting that. We you're getting that information. Now, did we? If and a lot of times, I know, just like for me, if if I didn't catch it, then uh, you know, you kind of back up off of it. If I didn't catch you red handed, then yeah, we kind of back away. Like, okay, you know, you know what? I don't because you know they're gonna call you crazy. That's the first thing. Once you catch, that's how you know you caught them when they call you crazy. Guys, you need to know that for everybody in here, when they call, when the narc calls you crazy, you caught them. That's what you crazy means. Okay. Oh my gosh, man. You crazy. You're crazy. Just get away from me. Blah, blah, blah. That means you caught me. That's code word. You caught me. I'm, I'm busted. I'm busted. That's right, Alicia. They spreading it on the job everywhere else. <laughs> wow, man, that is crazy. Wow. Oh, he was at work, Coco. He was at work. He was on the route. She was on the route somewhere. Whew. Yes, indeed. Hey, man, let, let's expose it. Let's expose it. So he out there delivering his mail or delivering his packages or whatever. And he, he got something right out there on the route. But again, again, Joshua said, I'm under 24 seven surveillance. <laughs> yeah. Cause the narc is going to watch you when a narc man, listen, when you, when the narc knows that you when hot pursuit, that's when they start watching you. That's when they start putting that location device on your phone and they're, they're watching to see where you pop up at. Yeah, they want to know if they're getting caught tonight. Yeah, don't think that and, and they'll play it off like, oh, yeah, now nah, I'm watching you. Yeah, because I see you making some little slick moves. Yeah, no, they watching you to make sure you don't catch them. To make sure you don't just walk up on them because they know they're doing stuff. That you know they know they violating, and if they get caught, then you caught. You know it's nothing, guys. Once you're caught, you are caught, and the narcissist knows that. They know it. Once you're caught, you're caught. That's it. It's a wrap. You know I lost this one, and and I'm hoping, and they hoping that you that you don't leave them. They hope they're hoping that you want to have a conversation about it. That's what they're, they're banking on. You still wanting to have a conversation. Hey, we let's talk about it. Let's talk about this. And most of us do. You so hurt. You so distraught. You, you want some answers. What made you do that? Good gracious, man. Guys, and you know what? You know how you can tell that it's just a waste of time talking to a narcissist about them cheating? Because we ask the craziest questions. What what was it about that person that, that made you, you know, that you had to have them? Why wasn't I good enough? What was what was it about me? You put yourself on a chopping block. What is it about me that made you want to cheat? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nothing. Ari said he was very sneaky. Hiding his phone when I was around. See, that's what I'm saying. When they don't got that phone, you're like, what? But sometimes when it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Wow, music said, how do they put a track on the phone? And how do you know it's on there? They used to put those spam. They used to spam my videos. And in my group, my Facebook group, Narcissist Anonymous 101, the Empath Tribe. Man, it used to be people, so many people coming in spamming and putting those trackers. Uh, they would tr put, it's like you join that spam thing and you can literally, but there are apps where people can clone your phone. They can clone your phone. So it's like anything that you're doing on your phone, it's showing up on their phone. Yeah, man. Guys, it's a wicked world we live in. That's right, Miss CFP. They want you weak. They want you to ask uh, that question. They want to, they want you when you, if if they get sloppy enough to get caught, they want you to ask why. Once they hear that one word. Once the narcissist hears you ask that one word, why? They know right then and there. Okay, you want me to lie to you. You want me to make this better so that you can be with me and still have your dignity. They know it. And a lot of times they're right. Guys, we can put up with it and you can try to stomach it. But it's going to eat at you every day. It's going to eat at you every single day when you're at work. It's going to eat at you. I found his phone number, called the number. The person said that, yeah, we've been doing this, that, blah, blah, blah. And I get home, this fool going to lie. I already done I've already talked to the other person and you just come home and lie. Because that's what they're going to do. They know that we are looking for the reason to stay with them. Guys, that's why they, they're going to, that's why they're always going to lie to you. Because they know. And, and guys, also, when you catch them, before they had a chance to really get the situation over there popping the way they wanted to, if you catch them, Guys, I mean, they have to start all over and they had to start over in a new relationship with a new person. And hope that that person really likes them. And guys, no matter how much that new person likes them, nobody's going to deal with someone abusing them and arguing right from the beginning. Now, don't get me wrong. I get it when you were young. I'm going to give everybody a pass when we were young. We ain't know no better. But once you get past 35 and you meet somebody and everything is hollering, screaming, yelling, and I mean, right from the beginning and you sticking with that. You know, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Beautiful butterfly. I said, these narcissistic truck drivers <laughs> I say I call hell. Thank God. I. I woke up from the nightmare. Who? Never again. Wow, man. That is that is just so crazy, man. Who? That's right. And also, when you catch them, they're going to delete all the messages. They're going to delete everything. What's up, in Angel? <clears throat> they're going to delete everything. Sent text message, text, text those messages to your phone. Yeah. Screenshot it. Text it to your phone. Everything you find, just text it to your phone. Because that's the kind of stuff that you need sometimes when you're trying to get out. You know, guys, we think about this. We give narcs a chance and another chance and another chance most of the time because you didn't catch them. That's all. 
you're not giving them a chance just because they're such a good person. And, you know, because you guys, you get tired. You get sick of you. You just threw. It's like, man, I can't do this to my life. I can't do this to my life. I can no longer do this to my life. This doesn't feel good anymore. None of that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Tina says she want to learn how to clone this phone. <laughs> Tina, like, I'm ready. I'm trying to find out. Tina, it's all over the place. There's so many companies out there. You just Google them. You'll see them. They'll come for you after that. Ooh. China said they send a text. They send a text to your phone and then get your phone to accept it. Uh Uh-oh. And then delete the app off your phone. And they can track your every move or your, whoa, there you go, Tina. <laughs> China just gave, China, China just gave up free game for you. Mm-hmm. You text his phone, hold up, you send a text message from their phone to your phone and then get your phone to accept it and then delete the app. Okay, so I'm assuming you got to put the app on your phone. You put the app on your phone and then send them a text message from that app and then delete it on their phone. And then, boom, you're looking at everything they do, every conversation. Hey, China, do they transcribe? Like when they're in a long conversation and you find out you're looking at the phone bill and you get their phone history and you see they was on the phone with this person for four hours today. Does it transcribe? Do they have something that transcribes the, uh, the conversation? That you can look at. I'm just curious. <laughs> Technology, man. And I'm saying this because I heard that you can do that. I've heard people say that, you know, well, I actually know somebody that, that said that she did it. I don't I didn't see it, but she said that she did it. She had something set up where, but I, I think she had something illegal going on. Yeah. But she could take every conversation that the person had that her um her spouse had and it would go to a it would go to a computer and it would just download the whole conversation so you know every conversation you have imagine that every conversation you have somebody's looking at it and it's they're they're looking at what both of you are saying wow See if they use each other's email. Brian said, if you use your significant others, you and your significant other use each other's email or credit card on one or the other's phone to make a holiday reservation, for example, the Google and Samsung will somehow give tracking access. Bing. There you go. If y'all on the same account. If you're on the same account, that's automatic. That's automatic. Y'all see that? I told y'all, man, we we learning tonight. (laughs) We (laughs) y'all learning how to track that phone and get that information. Whoo. Mika Love said they can't be with only one partner or a person. They get bored with one. They get bored with you quick. They are disgusting. Anybody can have anybody if y'all only understood guys I, and i'm saying i used to be the same way we give the narcissist of the benefit of the doubt to say that no nah, they're not just out for anybody they're, they're not just anybody can talk to them yes they can yes they can no nah, not a bum off the street yes they can yes they can a narcissist is listen they their soul depends on attention their purpose in life is to have attention they'd rather have attention than money or anything else it is the breath that they breathe it is the air that they breathe the blood that they bleed attention it is the drug of choice for the narcissist attention And and again, guys, 
you don't really want to hear what they're saying in those conversations. It will tell you it when if you have the privilege of having one of those devices that you get to dump the, all of their phone calls and you get to go through it and, and read and you know exactly what they were talking about. Trust and believe. You may be sick after that, after you read it. You'll, you will not be eating for a day or two. It will make you sick to find out how devious they are. And guys, don't think, and another thing, we tend to find this out when we start feeling like things in the relationship aren't going so well. But what we don't look at is that it started going in a bad direction, a downward spiral when the narc, when every time they meet somebody new, every time they meet somebody new, that's when all of a sudden something crazy happens in your relationship. And you're like, what is going on, man? And you think, OK, they just tripping about something stupid. And I ain't even going to worry about that. And you think it'll go away tomorrow. It's a new day. No. Wrong. They're going to keep coming back at you. At, they're going to keep coming at you with it. They're going to keep doing what they're doing because when they have somebody in their view and the person is participating, the narcissist, it, man, they, they, they that love bomb, they're just preparing that love bomb and they're giving that person. Remember, when they're preparing the love bomb, they have to give you undivided attention. You're that that new person has their undivided attention and you every time you call, hey, I'm I'm on a, I'm in a meeting. Hey, I got something I'm doing. I'm busy. I, hey, I'm talking to my mom. Hey, I'm doing something, blah, blah, blah. They, they're not going to have that time for you anymore, whereas they always had time before. They're not going to have that time anymore. And then when you do get to talk to them. They're going to be abrasive. You know, they're going to say mean things to you. They're going to try to cut the conversation short. They're going to be real short with you. Because just like they have to cheat. Just like they have to cheat. OK, and for all of y'all that don't think they do, a narcissist has to. Why do they have to? Yeah, that's what I said. I hear the other coaches saying, why? No, they don't. They don't have to. Yeah, I said it. A narcissist has to cheat. Why? A narcissist has to cheat because, again, everybody that's trying, listen to me, and I'm going to say it slow so that, you know, because I, I got the doubters watching. They want to be able to use this content too. You, you can use it. Ain't no biggie. A narcissist has to cheat on you. Because everyone, everyone, not some people, every person that meets the narcissist that wants a monogamous relationship, wants family, wants a future, wants good things, want happy holidays, birthdays, you know, vacations, everybody that's trying to do that exactly that exact thing you're doing with the narc, the exact thing you're trying to do with them. Live this beautiful life. Everyone. That does that. I want you to understand. When you do that, when you're trying to create a lifelong bond with this person. I want you to understand that that makes them sick. It drives a narcissist crazy. They are not interested in a lifelong relationship with you in love. Okay, they want they're here to destroy you. There is nothing to do with loving you. It has nothing to do with being in love with you. It is solely about destroying you and how do they want to destroy you they want you to destroy yourself they want to lie to you and put these things in your mind so that your mind is racing at 100 miles an hour every single day like i know this fool ain't trying me like this i know you didn't just 
They want you constantly thinking and obsessively thinking about them and what they're taking you through because they know eventually that's going to destroy you. They destroy your mind. The body's going to follow. They destroy the mind. The body will follow, guys. This narcissist, you're not the first person that has done this. Every, the person who was with the narc before you, they were trying to do the same thing. They wanted, hey, let's go on vacations. Hey, let's love each other. Let's, you know, sing Kumbaya. I want to hold your hand and walk under the stars. And I want to do this and I want to do that. They wanted to do those same things. They wanted to love this narcissist. And guess what? The narc looked at it. Oh, my goodness. Another one again? You want to just be in love. And I know we think that they want the same thing because that's what they talk about when we meet. But they're talking about it because that's what you want. Remember, when you meet them, they're mirroring you. OK, that's it. They're mirroring you. And you know how you know how you can tell? Because all you got to do is when you meet somebody, say something. They say, hey, how you doing? You know, well, what didn't you tell me a little about yourself? Hey, you say something like, hey, well, you know what? I'm just looking for something quick. I'm not looking for no relationship, blah, blah, blah. And they'll do the same thing. They'll go right along with it. But if you tell them, hey, well, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm single and I'm looking for a good relationship. I'm looking for a long lasting relationship with somebody, you know, something nice. But these streets are terrible, right? First thing you you tell them that. Now they're going to mirror it. Now they're going to say, oh, my goodness, you telling me, man, these streets crazy out here. They're just mirroring you. And that's why we believe we have the nerve to believe that this narcissist wants the same relationship we want. We do, man. We believe that they want the same relationship we want. Guys, that's the reason why you looking at the new supply. A lot of times we look at the new supply like, man, after I did all this work, I did all this work trying to get the narc back up to this level and I got them to that level and I helped the narc get a job and I, you know, helped them out with wardrobe and I done co-signed for that car. And now we got this place over here and I done did this and I've done that and I saved them from this. And you, you, you're looking for that payback. You're looking for how you're going to recoup all that you have invested in this person. The narc is like, man, you just pulled me up by my bootstraps. I'm out of here. I want to go. Some, now I can go somewhere and act like you. I can act like I was you. And, and guys, it doesn't end there. When they leave to run to the new person to do for the new person everything that you did for them. Oh, man, it, it just gets worse. They're back. They're telling the new person the reason they left you or the reason you forced them to leave because they're always going to tell the new person they left you no matter what happened. OK. They're going to tell the new person that you were the one who was lying and cheating and stealing and conniving. They're going to tell people you were the one begging for them to come back, begging to stay with them. They're going to tell people that you were begging them, please stay with me. I'll do anything. Please stay with me. That's what they're going to tell people when you both know that that's what they did to you. That they begged, pleaded. My goodness, man. It does not stop, guys. It does not stop. Stop simply because, you know, you're doing the right thing. Yes, Queenless said it. They're going to tell they're going to they're going to tell the new supply that you are obsessed with them. They're going to tell the new supply you're obsessed with them. And every time you call their phone and they're with the new supply, they're going to like, oh, my God, what, 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 what is it? I don't feel like arguing, man. Bye bye. I'm gone. No, I'm gone. You haven't even said anything. You barely said hello. They are sitting with the new supply and they're just like, they're going to make you out to be the villain. I'm telling you. And they are professionals at it. 
They're going to make you out to be the villain. Lady Virgo said his new supply is getting me because he because he took my good traits and mimics them. Wow. <laughs> but he will never be me. And then, you know something I want you, I want everybody in here to understand something real quick while we on the topic. The narcissist will look for you in another person. And another person and another person and another person and a, and they will never find you again. They will never find you. They will never find you again. They're going to look in. They're going to look for you because they have this silly thought that everybody that they go to is going to just give them the utmost respect. But they know because they're cowards. They know they have low self-esteem. So they're not really. They don't really have the influence on people the way you think they do. They don't. Mika Love said the new supply can have that fool. Wow. Derek said she left me with three handsome boys just to duck out. Shake. Goodness gracious. See that, ladies? Y'all think it's just guys doing that. Mm Mm-mm. And the crazy part about it is, you know, she feels like, Derek, you you have you have our sons. I, psh, all I got to do is come back and say, mommy wants to come home. Let's put our family back together again. Blah, 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 blah. When a nar- when, listen, guys, when y'all when you break up, when a narcissist discards and they run off with somebody, they believe with everything in them that they can have you back anytime they want. That's one of the reasons they don't even want that relationship anymore. Because they feel like I've already conquered you. You know, you you want me back. You want this to work. And they're right to a degree, because at the end, we do want it to work. Because we're invested in it. You know, but once we have to get over you, it that's it. I'm over you. OK, we're over. you. That's it. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Do not go past gold. Do not collect two hundred dollars. We not. It's nothing. It's I have nothing to say, man. Please, it is what it is. Wow, man. That's just that's just the worst, you know. When when you have children that have to that you have to you got to raise children. You still got to go to work, you know. That's man. That's just the worst thing. That's just one to me. That's the worst thing to do that to the children, to create a family. Right. You create a family and you just like, hey, man, you know, and you and obviously, you know, y'all were talking about a family. You were talking about family things because they would there wouldn't even be a conversation. You wouldn't be sitting there worrying about it if that's what if that wasn't the conversation. Mm, mm, mm. Lady Virgo said, I did beg him for two months. I didn't realize the demon uh, that he is, that he was until the discard. There you go. You, you see it. You see it. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, Lady Virgo, when, you know, when you got to that place, he knew I got you, I, you know, you begging for me. To, I, I don't got to. I can leave and I can come back when I, if I want to, anytime I want to. And the way they see themselves, the guys, this is, again, this is how narcs view themselves. Anybody that wants them, that knows them, a narcissist looks at you like, Ugh, you know me and you know what I'm about and you still want me. Ugh. That's how they look at us. That's how they look at us. Like, you know, I ain't no good. You know, I'm cruddy and you still want to work this out. Wow. They look at us like Ugh, they have no attraction to us. But for some reason, the moment, 
good. The moment you don't feel that way anymore, the moment that you get to that place where you're like, whoa, 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 I'm, I'm, I wouldn't take you back. I wouldn't, I don't even have anything to say to you. The moment you arrive in that place right there, I don't know what it is. If it's the chemistry, if it's their inner, if it's their inner voice telling them that they can't have you anymore, you got to go over there and prove that you can still get them. Because listen, guys, even if you let the narc back in your life, all they're going to do is run game. That's it. All the narc is going to do is run game. They just wanted to know they could get back with you. They do not want you back. Your, you, you, your, your shelf life has already expired. They only want you back when you don't want to be bothered. And when, because they look at you like, oh, wow, this is a different person. The person that I've, I left alone, that I dogged out, was a person that did not have self-love. That's how they look at it. And that's what makes them want you back. They're like, oh my goodness, you loving on yourself again? What? China said bodies are vices. Narcs use to down to drown out the voices of past victims in their heads. Woo! Good gracious. Vices. They use mm, they use new people to erase the past. But when the new becomes old, our voices torture them. So they torture the new supply. Y- y'all hear that? <laughs> y'all hear that? Your voice tortures the narc. The narc is sitting there like, like, what you doing? What, you know, like they can't get it out their head. I, and, and, and I'm telling y'all, she, she telling the absolute truth. No contact is the worst thing that ever happened to a narcissist, guys. No contact is the worst thing that has ever happened to a narcissist. And what it feels like is it makes the narcissist feel out of control. It makes them feel out of control, out of place. A narcissist is used to being in control, in control of you. As a matter of fact, they're used to being in control, guys. They're used to controlling you. And when they see that they no longer have that control. Out of nowhere, you're attractive again. They're like, where you been? I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you to get it together. You know. No contact, man. No contact totally, completely destroys them. It destroys their life. It destroys their mission. It says, man, I care about me more than I care about you. A narcissist only wants victims. They do not want people that are going to adult with them. Okay, they do not want people that are going to adult with them. They want to deal with your inner child. They want to deal with the inner child because your inner child is where your forgiveness is. It's where you feel sorry for them. You feel that compassion. Oh, well, I don't want to, you know. I don't want to do this. I don't want this to be that way. I don't want it to be like that. Yeah. They want to deal with the inner child. They do not want to deal with the adult. 
because the adult in you does not feel sorry for the narcissist. The adult in you wants to hold the narcissist responsible. Your inner child wants to play. So that's what the narcissist will do to appeal to your inner child. They're going to play games. They're going to play games and the games don't stop. The games do not stop. <laughs> Ari said, yep, they will drag your name through the mud and talk bad about you to make themselves look good. Yes, they are. Any information that you have disclosed, private things that you've talked to the narc about when you needed somebody to talk to. Yeah, they're going to hold that against you. They're going to use that against you. Shar <laughs> said, yep, the lie about the end of the relationship. <laughs> do no. Say, do no, but I am sure these women think I wanted him. Wow. Everyone that knows us knows that that's a lie. I've never ran after him. He did all the running. And you know what, Shar? That's what I was really talking about right there. Because that's how they do it. That's exactly how they do it. That is exactly how they do it. When you are. Guys, when you are just like, man, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks for that. Blind is off. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thanks for sponsoring the show with us tonight. Appreciate the love. Yes, I do. <clears throat> like I said, Char, when you know what the deal was and you're thinking, there's no way this fool is out here telling somebody that I was calling him, that I was asking him to come back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he was out there telling people that you were. He telling people you the one trying to keep. He telling, guys, this is how cruddy they are. This is how dirty and crut ball they are. They taking you through all of this craziness. They're taking you through the worst relationship that you've ever been in, been around, ever heard of, never dreamed of. And they're telling everybody that you are the one. You're the one. You're the one that act all crazy. You always acting crazy. You always swear they cheating because they are. You're the one. You always doing stupid stuff. You always starting arguments. They're telling people they can't deal with you anymore. I can't deal with that no more. I'm going to somebody else. They're making you out to be exactly what they were. They're not telling people, oh, yeah, I, I was cheating on you. You know, hey, Char, they, they, dude wasn't out telling nobody that, yeah, you know, I was cheating on her. And she kept, you know, she kept being on to my trail. So I had to, you know, start little arguments to, you know, to get her out of my face. No. No, he's telling people that Shaw, man, y'all think y'all know Shaw. Nah, man, Shaw, man, she a trip, man. Nah, and I think she messing with one of them jokers at her job. Yeah, she got somebody. I know she do. She be doing a little slick stuff. You know what's... See, they plant that seed that you dirty. They, they listen, they are experts at this. They know how to drop a little seed and act like it wasn't nothing big. Yeah. They're experts at this. Yeah, man, man, Shaw, y'all think Shaw, all oh, this angel, man, yeah, she ain't who y'all think she is, okay? Shaw got another dude, some man, listen, I, I tried to go through her phone, man. She called, she called me trying to go on her phone, man. She liked to lost her mind. That's the story they telling other people. He not telling people, man, Shark, I went in the house today, man. Shark tried to grab my phone. Man, I snatched that phone and ran. 
y'all got guys. True story. True story. True story. I remember one day I asked the narc right face to face. I'm just standing still in the hallway. Can I see your phone? True story. She grabbed, she grabbed the phone, put it across her chest, and ran out the house. I said, no, nah, that's all right. I don't need to see. I don't need to see what's in there. I don't need to see. You see, you don't you said enough. That was at the very end. That was at the very goodness gracious, y'all. Y'all still get true life stories in this chat. Good gracious. <laughs> man, oh man. Yes. Yes, indeed. We'll take the phone and run. They will take their phone and run from you. When they are caught, because see, they're used to keeping a certain kind of energy between y'all. Where you can't just walk up to them and ask them politely. Can I see your phone, babe? No. No. No, they're used to walking in the house and they got the house. Listen, and it, it's easy for them to keep your house torn down. It's easy for a narcissist to keep the energy in your house on another level of cruddy. It's easy for them to come home every day to you and torture you. Because they're going outside the house and they're having a polite conversation with somebody else. And you are the one that gets to be the punching bag every day. Yeah. You're the one that they get to take through all these changes. Until you stop. Until you say, okay, no more. It's cut off. And then, so the people that have cut the narcissist off early in the game, when they saw the games really starting to get pathetic and you cut them off, see, those are the people that have the opportunity to see everything for exactly what it's worth. You had the opportunity to see that, oh, okay, without arguing with me, that little relationship you had over there, it didn't work out, huh? Oh, man, I was hoping that this one would work out for you. You done been through how many? And it was the one every time. Yeah, same lie you told me. I was the one. It was the one every time. Mm, what happened? Man, what happened? Come on. Come on now. You say you can't come in in the chat, Angie? Hmm. I got to check that. I got to check that, Angie. I got to check on I got to check on that. I got to look into it. Thanks. Will do. Oh man. Yes indeed, people. Yes indeed, people. Oh boy. That's right. That's right, Lady Virgo. They're going to run away from that truth, man. They are, they are not going to stand there and look you in your face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. You got me, baby. They're not going to do that. Okay? They are not going to do that. Blind is off. Okay, blind is off. I got to find it, blind is off. I got to go through my phone to check. You got to kind of go to the analytics. I'll check it for you tonight, though. But, yeah, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Man, mm, mm, mm. We're sitting here trying to just, oh, boy. You're just trying to figure out what's going wrong in your relationship so you can fix it. <laughs> yeah. And the narc is just sitting there like, man, every day they're running to the new supply life. Man, I'm just so sick of this person, man. Every day, you know, it's always these, you know, calling me, you know, asking for stuff and they don't do nothing for me. And this is another thing. Everything you've done for this crut ball 
everything you've done and they would not be with you if you didn't do anything for them. Please understand. They would not do anything for you. Mm, mm, mm. They would not do anything for you if. I'm sorry, they would not be with you if you didn't do anything for them. They would not be with you. And this person that you're doing all of this stuff for is out there telling people that they're doing all this stuff for you. Everything you've done for them. <laughs> Good. Does it get any cruddier, man? Everything you've done for them. They're telling people they did for you. They just, I mean, they just. Oh, boy. Exactly. Music said it. They're talking about themselves. They're not talking about you when they could. When they're talking to the new supply, they're talking about themselves, but they're saying it's you. They're saying that it's you. They're saying you're the one doing it. That's right. That's right, Ari. As long as they got some supply, they do not care. Ryan said two realities. First is the false reality they created about you. You're crazy. There you go. I'm telling you, you're crazy is an admission of guilt and being caught. Do you hear me? I need y'all checking in on that. If the narcissist calls you crazy, it means you caught them. It means you caught me and you don't see it. <laughs> That's why they calling you crazy. You caught me, but you don't see it. I know you caught me. You know you caught me, but you can't see it. I'm not going to admit it. Going to call you crazy, make you think you're crazy. Second is actually reality, actual reality that you live in. Unfortunately, the smear campaign has been started long before you know. Good gracious, come on. Say that. Say that, Ryan. Long before. That was the first thing they did. They knew what they were going to do with you. The narcissist knew already. They knew what they were going to do with you. See, guys, that's that's how you know. The new relationship is not going to work because they're already smearing the new supply. I know you think that they're just so in love with this new person. There is no such thing for a narcissist, guys. And heaven forbid. The new supply tries to repeat the same cycle that you tried. To love them, to be with them, to honor them, to respect them, to build a future with them. If you, guys, if the new supply tries to build a family, to build a future, just know whenever you see that, when you see, hear about they're getting married and they're in such this, they, they, obviously they still love the person, they're still together. When you see that they together and it's and it's lasting, I just want you to understand. You need to say a prayer for the new supply, man. They going through it. They are going through it. They believe that if they put up with this torture, the same way you thought it, if I put up with this torture, one day the narc is going to realize I'm the one for them. I'm the one that was sent to them to help them out in their life. That's what the new supply thinks. The new supply thinks that if I put up with all this garbage, if I let the narcissist use me as their punching bag, use me as their toilet paper, that I will be the last one standing and I will win this relationship with them. They'll come out to me and, and we'll go happily living happily ever after. That's the lie that the new supply believes. That's the lie that they believe. The same lie that you used to believe. It's the same lie. 
And the reason that the relationship can not work. Okay. Any of you guys want the relationship with the narc to work? Then stop trying to have a traditional relationship. Stop trying to love them. Stop trying to have this, this kissy face, respectful, reciprocal relationship with them. They hate it. Now, if you got drama, if you got drama, y'all want to know why? Let me, oh my gosh, boy, we is lighting it up tonight. We are lighting it up tonight, guys. Y'all want to know why narcs stay in long relationships? Y'all want to know how they're doing it? You want to know how they're able to make it with that new supply for so long? Because the new supply is toxic. The new supply is toxic. The new supply will argue, fight them, will spit on them, will call them gutter names, will go roll around in the dirt with the pig. Just like they love it. They love that kind of relationship. The people who stay with narcissists the longest, I'm one of them. We stayed in those relationships, guys, because it was toxic. The narcissists can't leave. They can't just leave a toxic relationship. No, 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 no. They cannot just leave a toxic relationship. They love toxicity because they know that toxicity is destroying you. So in essence, they're still destroying you. If you want to fight and go toe to toe and go ham on them and, and, and have all of these yelling matches every day, disrespect matches, a narcissist is going to stay around for that. Okay. Because that gives them endless supply. It's like, okay, you, you called me what the other day? Okay. That's why I cheated with so-and-so. That's why I'm going to cheat with your friend. That's why I'm going to cheat with your cousin. That's why I'm going to cheat with your sister. Yeah, I heard what you said about me. Mm -hmm. You wondering why that relationship's still together? Yeah, it's together because they're toxic. Everybody who has a long-term relationship with the narcissist, it was toxic. That's why it stayed together so long. You know, you, you just say, hey, man, I'm tired of treating this person nice. Let me let them feel what they're supposed to feel. Yes. Those are the relationships that stay with the, oh my goodness, you're going to have a long relationship with that narc. You get in there and start saying the type of things they're saying and then start doing what they're doing. You know, you just, you get just as raunchy as they do. You start lowering your vibration right down to the pig pen. They, you're not going to be able to get rid of that fool. They live for that drama. They live for it. They love it and live for it. Empathic Sharp. Thanks for the super chat. Char said, I left dude two months before we got engaged. Good gracious. You saw it then. You saw it then. Accepted his proposal and took it back. And he asked again with his friend's help. Back me in a corner. Good gracious. Had you thinking, okay, if he going to go this far, he going to bring his friend in it, then he going to act right. Because that's how we think. That's how we reason with things like that. You're thinking, okay, he asking me and asking me again, and he got his friend involved. He getting other people outside of this. And we see, you know, oh, he must really care about me. No. He sees your good supply. He see, hey, man, me and her, can, shh, man, when I piss her off, she going she gonna to fight. <laughs> when I piss her off, she's going to fight back. She's going to do the same thing I do. And we don't even know that's the trap. That's the trap. That's the trap right there. We don't even see it. We never saw it coming. Sick Thumb. Mwah. Thanks for the super chat, Sick Thumb. Sick Thumb said, Narcs thrive. Thrive. Do you hear me? Thrive. In toxic relationships, we don't. It goes against us. Narcs thrive in it. They live for it. They live for the day that they can be in a 
toxic relationship where you get to call each other names you come home if you want to this week you live over here they live over there but y'all still together somehow through marriage or a child yeah that's that's the fertile ground that the narcissist wants more than anything okay baby look you live in this house over here and i'm gonna live in this one over here we still together but we just don't live with each other i'm gonna do my thing you don't do your thing now they don't think you're gonna do what they do and everything is going to just be cool. No, they want you to simply, no, just take what I'm doing to you. Yeah, just take what I'm doing to you and enjoy this. Continue to lie to our family and friends and pretend with me that we're in this relationship while secretly I'm going behind your back telling everybody that I can that you're the one that's a liar. You're the one that's a cheater. You're the one that has destroyed this relationship. Ooh, good gosh, boy. Mm, 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 mm. Good gosh. That's what's going on behind the scenes, y'all. That's what's going on behind the scenes. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is what's going on behind the scenes. Shar said, and he loved, yep, he loved my image, loved where I was going. He wanted, he wanted on that journey. Young, wow, young and responsive, cute and smart, with a good job. Dude was like, I got to marry you. <laughs> I got to marry, I got to keep this one. <laughs> Yeah, that's how narcs think. I got to keep this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I can't let this one go. Guys, I'm telling y'all, man. The longest relationships a narc ever gonna be in are the people who want it, who will go right back, will go toe to toe with them. The narcs say something crazy, you say something crazy right back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they know we don't want that kind of relationship. And we do that <clears throat> just so this person can see I ain't the one. Look, I, you, you can try that with me if you want, but you're gonna not you're not gonna like it. Whoo, Lady Virgo said, Nicole, yeah, all his females in his family, they were gossiping fools too. Man, you 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 know you never you're never gonna do good when you see the day of the narc has that energy because that's how the family is. Man, you're never going to get along with families, the people like that. You know, you just you just not. You're not because they help each other. They help each other be treacherous. Whoo! Oh, oh my goodness. Whoo we hold up y'all victoria said if the narc's cell phone fell in a volcano they would dive in <laughs> molten lava flowing out the narcissist would dive in and yes they would yes they would you are not messing up my cell phone i gotta have that phone everything i'm doing is right there i need that Okay, <laughs> my man, Mike. Thanks, appreciate, Thanks, appreciate, that. That. appreciate that. that. Whoa, I hit it too late. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being a sponsor of the night show. Yes, indeed. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Man, guys, listen. That phone... Man, man, you you get a narc's phone, man. I'm going to tell you, you're going to need a vacation from work if you find that narc's phone. You need at least 30 days off. You're going to need 30 days, man. <laughs> hey, China, you know it. Narc's going to use a flip phone, an old phone of something that you think that they just threw away, your throwaway phone. They they don't care. They have one or more. Okay. Wow. 
Char said, he told me before we got married that I scar him sometimes. Mm, I didn't play taken up for myself arguing with dude. I had become so humble over the years, just too soft for him. There you go. There you go. He, you ain't going to argue. You ain't going to fight. This, this, this is okay. This ain't no fun no more. Because listen, guys. The, real talk, it's no fun to a narcissist when you won't fight back. That's no fun because they're not beating up on you. See, when they're saying these crazy things about you and saying crazy things to you and hollering and screaming and cussing, spitting, when you react, that's when the abuse starts. When you react because it lets them know that it's working, that it's getting to you. It lets them know you still have feelings for me. See, when they can't start an argument with you anymore, whoo, when they cannot start an argument with you anymore, the narcissist at that point, guys, they're done. They are done. They're like, whoa, you out of here. You're gone. They know you've checked out of the building. They know you have no care for them. That's why the arguments cut so deep and they, they, they kick you in places that you've never felt kicked in before. Because they need to know, is the relationship over? And that's how they judge whether the relationship is over or not. They base it on, are you going to fight with me? Are you going to argue with me? When you stop arguing, stop fighting, that's it. That's it. You don't want to fight no more? Okay, then you don't want to be with me no more. You're done. They know you're done. And they have to make a desperation pick. If they don't already have something lined up, something decent, they have to make, even if they don't have it lined up, they got to make a desperation pick and make a run for it because they know once you stop arguing and fighting, they know that their days are numbered. They're not going to get that supply out of you anymore. And guys, the way that looks is, it looks like you won. That's how it looks to it. It looks like you just shut them completely down. You won't defend yourself. I'm talking about you. I'm cheating on you. I'm dogging you. I'm stealing from you. I'm smearing your name. I'm doing all this stuff to you. You won't even acknowledge me. That's when a narcissist gets scared to death. They get, they are shaking in their boots because they don't know what's coming next, but they know that you are done with them. And you catch a narc without supply, man. That That's the ugliest thing you ever seen in your life. You catch one of them jokers without somebody. That's the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your life. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> Nicole Na Man said, <laughs> just thinking about that phone literally makes me sick. It does. It makes you sick to your stomach because you know what's in it. You know all types of just, yes, it's X-rated. It's you being stabbed in your back throughout the entire thread and every thread that they have that you didn't know about. That's right. Once you get silent, that's right, Tawana. Once you get silent, man, they gone. It's a wrap. They gone. They running after that. They running. They coming in, they started something, and they know that you should have been fighting for what they did. They done got caught. They telling you they cheating on you now because you don't even care. You like, okay. No problem. Yeah. China said he knew he knew she wasn't it. <laughs> he knew she wasn't it because he hovered in a week. Oh, and China, you know, she watching. Come on. <laughs> God, they, that's why they house stay upside down. But he had to stand on his decision. You got to make him stand on that decision. 
when they make that decision, you got to make them stand on it. You know? Woo. Be good. 4,000 said, once you realize how bad things are, Nicole, <clears throat> then you can start to focus on healing yourself and stop worrying about <clears throat> worrying yourself sick about them and what they're doing what they had what they've done Psh, man listen you you don't even want to know what they've done okay you don't mm, mm, mm. wow there you go there you go <laughs> victoria said man you might catch a disease looking through their phone okay you might catch something looking through they through that phone Lady crystal said i found them on facebook and some freaky groups you know Wow, Miss Coco said, wow, facts don't know, don't know why a 53-year-old man that thinks, still think it's sexy to send pic pictures of him naked. <laughs> man, knowing how the internet is? Yeah, that's out there. That's way out there. Good gracious. Wow, that's right, Ryan. Ryan said every horrible fear that you have, wow, that they might have done to you behind your back, they did it. And they did something much worse behind your back than you feared. You can you can trust that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, there you go. Catherine Corbin said his phone and my wedding ring went into the same lake at the same damn time the sixth time i caught him cheating was the <laughs> good yes hey Catherine, listen don't feel bad don't feel bad about that because yeah that's everybody you just keep catching them and it just keep something keeps happening i threw away 23 wedding bands all right i said it there it is Man, through that thing, man, I just got to the point where, and the thing is, is I know that's extreme, right? But it's real. That's what I was gonna name my book. No, it's twenty one rings. It was twenty one rings because we would get into an argument that went against everything that I believed in. Like, just like if this is the, it was the argument. The gist of every argument that I did that on was. If this is how you feel, then it's over between us. And the narc would see it and be like, see, that's what I mean. You always taking your ring off. And, and I'm like, ring, you want me to wear a ring for, and represent you? And then the kind of stuff you doing? Are you crazy? No. No. Mm-mm-mm. Because and I, and, I, and I took it off and threw it away because I'm like, I don't want to see it again. I don't want to I don't want to represent this person that way. You know, I want her to stop wearing hers. Take that off and throw it away. I guarantee you, you won't get a replacement from me. Mm -mm. Whoo, man. <laughs> hey Jackie O, I, I'm right there with you. Jackie O said, "In the end, I was giving my narc away straight to the clearance rack." Okay, they could have that. Listen, listen, mine. I, I put mines out there on the street. Say, hey, he just anybody take it. Anybody want it, take it. I I remember having that conversation. You know, saying. Hey, you know, you you think you can find somebody that want to hang around and stick around with you? 
anybody? You know, and, and guys, I listen, I took it a step further I, because it's like I knew she would always beg me to get back. I just said, well, listen, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay away. I'm going to no, I'm going to stay with you until you find somebody. Until you find somebody that's going to stick with you long enough to get you away from me. OK, I'm going I'm to I'm hang in here. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to walk through this with you, help you through whatever. Oh boy, good luck with that, good people. Good luck with that. Oh man, this was a good conversation. That we're gonna have much, many more conversations like this one. This was helpful. This was helpful, guys. This was an incredible conversation with you guys. Incredible session tonight. We have to, we're going to start having these kind of sessions because. When you're able to hear different things and different ideas and you see how they move, you we learn the way these people move through their actions, through hearing other people's testimony. I, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate everybody who was willing to just share your story. Yes. My main man, Will Rodriguez. Thanks for that super chat, champ. Who? Will said, I was with the narc in bed watching TV and the closet started ringing. Uh-oh. Y'all know what that means. The closet started ringing. I said, hmm. <laughs> you want me to get that? <laughs> Who say your second phone having a trifling MF? Good gracious, guys! That y- 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 think about how that feels, man. Think about how that feels. You sitting down in the bed, you laying down in the bed, y'all chilling, and and guys, when you laying down in the bed, you you have this assumption that the person next to you is not your worst enemy. Because you think they would have the decency to just go and leave you alone. And they don't. And they won't. Mm, mm, mm. At least if you want them to, they won't. They want to leave when you want them to stay. When you want them out, they won't go anywhere. Second phone ringing in the closet. Man, I would have uh, look at it. Man, it's cruddy. You cruddy, dirty, trifling. Man, so guys, this is modern day marriage. These are modern day marriages. Your spouse got they, their other cell phone, their throwaway phone is in the closet ringing on vibrate. And sometimes they forget to put it on vibrate. Mm, mm, mm. Hey guys, we're gonna keep the convo going Friday night, man. Good gracious. Uh, as usual, man. I thank everybody that came in tonight. I thank our sponsors tonight, man. Good great. Can I thank our sponsors again? Because I'm going to. My main man, Mike. Thank you for that sponsorship, Mike and Angie. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yes, we do. I do appreciate blinders off. Yes, I do. I'm going to check that for you right now. Yes, we do. Yes, Taisha. Yes, appreciate the love. Alicia, Holly Glimp, my girl Connie. Thank you all for being sponsors of the show tonight, guys. I do. I thank everybody for your contribution. Man, oh, man, it's a good feeling. The contributions... That, that is a good feeling, guys. I, I And I appreciate those Super Chats as well. I do. I appreciate the sponsorship. Guys, you guys coming in here with this chat, you are the show. You are the show. Guys, to be able to exchange gems, to be able to exchange information and help people see what's out there. 
because we just walking around with blinders on. Guys, you were if you weren't born cruddy, dirty, trifling, then you don't have a clue how they act. And we're we have knowledge of how these people act because we were with them and we can tell our story and that's how we empower one another. Man, put some peace and love in the chat, guys. Again, I thank you. We're going to see I'm going to see you on Friday night with the team. And hey, guys, we're going to enjoy the rest of this week. Yes, we are. Yes, we will. Thank you. Good night. And I wish you nothing but love, peace, and soul train. See y'all Friday night, guys, 9 o'clock. Be there. All right? Be Be there. there. (laughs) Oh, man. Let me stop. Oh, boy.